Hey gang, what's going on? So we have the week nine matchups and predictions coming at you right here, right now. But before I do so, if you could hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons, that would be greatly appreciated. It's very helpful for the channel. And it gives me great feedback on what you think of the content I put out as well, as I don't want you to miss out on any of the most up-to-date news of college football, because you will get that right here on this channel. Let's get into it. So, week nine, we've got a bunch of great games coming up, and we have them right here coming straight at you. So, the first game that we've got is the number four Florida State Seminoles, who are 7-0 and on the year and 5-0 and against the ACC. Visiting the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, who are four and three on the year and one and three against the ACC, they will be playing at Allegacy Federal Credit Union Stadium in Winston Salem, North Carolina. The over/under is fifty-three and a half points, with FSU being the twenty-point favorite. I've got Florida State winning this game outright. Um, I don't think it's going to be close. I think Florida State's played too good this year, and I think they are going to continue their fantastic play of football, and they are going to come out with a big win. So Florida State gets the win over Wake Forest. Coming in on our next game, we've got the number six Oklahoma Sooners visiting the unranked Kansas Jayhawks. Oklahoma is 7-0 on the year and 4-0 against Big 12 teams, while Kansas is 5-2 on the year and 2-2 against Big 12 teams. This game will be played at David Booth Kansas Memorial Stadium in, Lev in uh, Lawrence, Kansas. And I say Oklahoma gets the win. They are going to uh, get a convincing win. It's not going to be a major blowout, but it will be a convincing win. The over-under for this game is 66 points. And I have Oklahoma... And actually, the line is that Oklahoma is the nine and a half point favorite, and I have Oklahoma winning this game. Coming in at the next game, we've got the Penn State Nittany Lions, the number 10 Penn State Nittany Lions, hosting the Indiana Hoosiers, the unranked Hoosiers. The unranked Hoosiers come in at two and five on the year and 0 and four versus Big Ten teams, while the Penn State Nittany Lions come in at 6-1 and one on the year and 3-1 and one against Big Ten teams. This will be played at Beaver Stadium in University Park, Pennsylvania. I've got the Penn State Nittany Lions getting the game or the, the win on, on this game. Uh, I think they'll win in convincing fashion, and I think this will be a blowout. So I've got number 10 Penn State beating the Hoosiers at home. Coming in next, we have the number one Georgia Bulldogs facing the unranked Florida Gators. Georgia is, oh, before I get into that, I forgot, I almost forgot to mention, the over-under for, for the Penn State game is 44.5 points, with Penn State being a 32-point favorite. Penn State will get that win. Moving back to the Georgia game. The number one Georgia Bulldogs are 7-0 and 4-0 and against SEC teams, while Florida is 5-2 and 3-1 and against the SEC. This will be played at Everbank Stadium in Jacksonville, Florida. This game is, uh, the over-under is 49 points. Georgia is the 14.5 point favorite. I've got Georgia getting the convincing win over Florida. I don't think Florida can beat Georgia. I think Florida is not as good as Georgia, and I think Georgia's been too consistent all year, so Georgia will get the win. Coming in next, we've got BYU facing the number seven Longhorns. This will be a DKR Texas Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas, where the BYU Cougars will be squaring off against the Longhorns. The Cougars are 5-2 and two on the year, while being 2-2 two and two versus the Big 12, Texas is 6-1 and one on the year, while being 3-1 and one against the Big 12. The over-under for this is 51 points, and Texas is the 17.5-point favorite. I've got Texas winning this game. This is a game I don't see Texas losing. I think Texas is going to rebound nicely from 
the sloppy play. Not the sloppy play, but I think they're going to rebound. They're going to continue their good play after they rebounded after the Oklahoma loss. Coming in at the next game, we have the number eight Oregon Ducks visiting the number 13 Utah Utes at Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake, Utah. The over-under for this game is 49 points with Oregon as the seven-point favorite. I have Oregon winning this game. Um, I think Oregon's playing too good this year, even though they've had a couple hiccups. I think they'll do just fine against Utah, and I think they'll come out with the win. Coming in at the next game, we got the unranked Pittsburgh. Oh, Oregon is also 6-1 and one on the year. Well, 3-1 and one against the Pac-12. Utah is also 6-1 and one on the year and 3-1 and one against the Pac-12. So identical records for each team. We've got the Pittsburgh uh, Panthers visiting the number 14 Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I've got... Uh, with Pittsburgh at two and five, and Notre Dame at six and two, also qualifying for a bowl game. I want to add uh, this game will be played at Notre Dame Stadium in Notre Dame, Indiana. The over/under is forty-five and a half points, with Notre Dame as the nineteen and a half point favorite. I've got Notre Dame winning this game. I don't think Pittsburgh can do it, especially with how weak they are. Um, as a team, and they still have a ways to go before they get back to where they want to be at. So I got number 14, Notre Dame, winning this game against the Panthers. Coming in at the next game, we've got the number 20, Duke Blue Devils, versus the number 18, Louisville Cardinals. So this will be played at Cardinal Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky, with the over-under being 46 and Louisville being the four-point favorite, the five and two Duke Blue Devils, who are also two and one at, against the ACC, will lose to the six and one Louisville Cardinals, while Louisville improves uh, is at three and one against the ACC. I've got Louisville taking this game um, at home against Duke. Duke played a great game in the first half against Florida State last week, but then they fell apart. I don't trust that they can uh, beat Louisville after their really sloppy play in the second half of last week's game. Coming in at the next game, we've got the number 22 Tulane Green Wave, who are 6-1 and 3-0 and and against the American Conference, going up against the unranked Rice Owls, who are 4-3 and three on the year and 2-1 and one against the American Conference. The over-under for this is 54.5 points, with Tulane as the 11.5 point favorite. <clears throat> this game will be played at Rice Stadium in Houston, Texas. I've got Tulane winning this game. Tulane will get the win over Rice and improve to 7-1 on the year. Coming in at the next game, we've got at California Memorial Stadium in Berkeley, California, we've got the California Golden Bears, the unranked California Golden Bears, going up against the number 24 USC Trojans. USC is 6-2 and two on the year, 4-1 and one against the Pac-12, while California is 3-4 and four on the year and 1-3 and three versus the Pac-12. The over-under for this is 67.5 points with USC as the 11-point favorite. I've got USC winning this game. I don't see California doing much. Um, so I've got USC taking this game all the way. Coming in next, we've got the number five Washington Huskies visiting Stanford Stadium in Stanford, Cal or Stanford California to visit the Stanford Cardinal. Washington is 7-0 on the year, 4-0 against the Pac-12. Stanford is 2-5 and five on the year, 1-4 against the Pac-12. The over-under for this is 59.5 points, with Washington as the 26.5 point favorite. I got Washington steamrolling over Stanford and taking that game. Coming in at the next game, at Canvas Stadium in Fort Collins, Colorado, we've got the number 19 Air Force Falcons. Going up against the Colorado State Rams. So, Air Force is 7-0 and on the year and 4-0 and against Mountain West teams. While Colorado State is 3-4 and on the year 
and one and two against Mountain West teams. The over under for this is 49 and a half points, while the Air Force is the 12 and a, the 12 point favorite. I've got Air Force beating them, and Colorado State will drop to three and five on the season. Coming in at the next game, we've got the number 21 Tennessee Volunteers facing the University of Kentucky at Kroger Field in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, the over-under for this is 51.5 points with Tennessee's 3.5 point favorite. I got Kentucky winning this game. I got Kentucky upsetting the number 21 Tennessee Volunteers and the Wildcats making a push to get back into the top 25, and this is how they're going to do it. They are going to beat the number 21 Volunteers at home. Mind you, Kentucky is 5-2 and two on, on the year and 2-2 two and two against the SEC, while Tennessee has an identical record of 5-2 and 2-2 two and two and two against the SEC. <clears throat> Coming in at the next game, we've got the Ohio State Buckeyes visiting the Wisconsin Badgers at Camp Randall Stadium at Madison, Wisconsin, where the Ohio State Buckeyes were 7-0 and against, uh, or 7-0 and on the year, and 4-0 and against Big 12, Big 10 teams, excuse me, face off against the 5-2 and Badgers, who were also 3-1 and against the Big 10. Uh, Over-under for this game is 43.5 points, with OSU being the 14.5-point favorite. I've got OSU winning this game at uh, Camp Randall Stadium. It will not be a blowout, but it will be a convincing enough win to keep them at number three. Coming in next, we've got um, the Vanderbilt Commodores, the 2-6 and six Vanderbilt Commodores, who are also 0-4 against SEC teams, visiting Vaught-Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi, where they were, will square off against the number 12 Ole Miss Rebels, who are 6-1 and on the year and 3-1 and against the SEC. The over-under, 63.5 points, and Mississippi is the 25, so that's 25.5 point favorite, and... Ole Miss will win this game. Then we have Colorado, the unranked Colorado Buffaloes, who started off so great and then fell off, going up against the number 23 UCLA Bruins. Colorado is 4-3 and three on the year, while 1-3 and three against the Pac-12. And UCLA is 5-2 and two on the year, while 2-2 two and two against the Pac-12. This game will be played at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. The over-under for this is 63.5 points, while UCLA is the 17-point favorite. I've got UCLA winning this game. <clears throat> Colorado's just been playing too inconsistently, so Colorado will lose this game at the Rose Bowl. Coming in at... The next game, we've got the number 17 North Carolina Tar Heels visiting Bobby Dodd Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, where they will face the unranked Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Now, the Yellow Jackets are 3-4 and four on the year and 2-2 two and two versus the ACC, while North Carolina is 6-1 and one on the year and 3-1 and one against the ACC. The over-under for this is 63.5 points, with UNC as the 11.5-point favorite. I've got North Carolina rebounding after last week's loss, and they will take down the Yellow Jackets. <clears throat> Coming in at uh, the next game, we have Old Dominion. So that is the Old Dominion Lions, I believe it is. They will be facing, the, they are 4-3 and three on the year and 3-1 and one against Sunbelt teams. And they will be visiting the number 25, James Madison Dukes, at Bridgeforth Stadium, Zane Schauker Field, in Harrisonburg, Virginia. So, James Madison is 7-0 and on the year, 4-0 and against Sunbelt teams. James are, the over-under is 49 points, while James Madison is a 17-and-a-half point favorite. I've got James Madison beating Old Dominion and going to 8-0. And to round out week nine, we have the number 11 
Oregon State Beavers, who are 6-1 and one on the year and 3-1 and one against Pac-12 teams, going up against the Arizona Wildcats, who are 4-3 and three on the year and 2-2 two and two against the Pac-12. They will be playing at Arizona Stadium in Tucson, Arizona. <clears throat> the over-under is 56.5 points with Oregon State as the 3.5-point favorite. I've got Oregon State winning this game. I think it will be a convincing win, but Oregon State will win. <clears throat> let me know what you guys think, and let me know your predictions. Until next time, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time.